Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the window object and also the document object. Here I am creating a sample HTML document. So here I have created HTML document.html file. So let's try to create a simple HTML and we will see about the document object, how this document object will be available in the browser. Let's try to see it. So here, here I am not using any scaffolding or anything. So just let's try to create. So as we are learning about the doc, DOM object model. So here I am using HTML head and we can have a simple title. So DOM title and here we can have a body and in this one I am having H1. So we are learning about the DOM. There is nothing but document object model and we can have some paragraph or ipsum or anything we can add it so this is simple html thing so now in order to execute this one i am using the live server extension so if you want you can install this live server so here you can search for this live server and here you will be able to see this live server so i am using this live server using this live server I will click on this one and I will open this one. So open with live server. So here this is the heading and this is the paragraph. So fine. So one thing what you need to understand is so here we have we have able to see the HTML document and all those things. So one thing what you need to understand is DOM will map now when you open this one in the browser, the DOM will map our HTML into a hierarchical structure. Okay, so that is a that is the main thing you need to understand. So the DOM will map our HTML into a hierarchical structure. So this all will be converted into an object. At the top, you will be having a window object. So that is the main thing you need to understand. So at the top, so the top of this content. So here, when you try to see this HTML and all the things, the top of this one. So you will be having a window object. And also you need to understand one thing that that every time you open a new tab in the browser each tab has its own window instance so that is one thing you need to understand so the, every time you open a, every time you have a new tab here so the new tab every time you will be having a new window instance so let's check that how the window object will look like for example let's say i am going into this one so here i am inspecting the element so this is a plain thing okay or otherwise you can open the incognito window also so this is the incognito window and here i am trying to inspect the element in the console if you try to see in the console so here at the top so at the top of this one you will be having a window object you can search here you can type here window and this is an object you will be able to see lot of properties and the methods so here you will be able to see about this client information also so client information means you will be here you will be able to see about the browser name and all those things and the <clears throat> And the and the OS what we are trying to do and the and the browser engine what is this Geeko engine and everything you'll be able to see who is the vendor and everything we are able to see it here client information so we'll be having so many things in this one so we so many options we'll be having we also have about the concept like something like what I can say is so here you'll be having history history means so here the first time the history so when you open a list of all the web pages in this tab you'll be having all the history for example let's say that here i am opening google.com okay i have opened this one google.com now i went from i i came from empty web page to the google.com now here if you try to see window.history oh sorry so window.history now when i am trying to do window.history here you'll be able to see state okay here you'll be able to see the state from where we have came so now if and also you'll be able to see so many way lot of options also you'll be able to see so back forward go length so like these options so lot of options are there so for example let's say that if i want to move back so that means the whole screen i want to go so i can use window dot history dot back if I, oh i have so spelling mistake what is this happening history dot back so if i use this back now the browser has moved back to this back back to this old one old page so that is the main thing you need to understand 
so if i try to use forward let's see what will happen forward is it so now it moves to the google so like this so you can move front and back using this methods so this is the usage of this window thing okay so this is all about the window object so you'll be having lot of things so now we need to understand now we need to understand about the html document so now we understood about this browser and all the things now this html document we also have like this we have lot of lot of lot of things we are having okay so we have location history client information frames like this we also have apart from this one we also have option to the window apart from this one we also have an property that is nothing but a b c d document okay here you'll be able to see about this document so what is this document so now this is the main thing we are trying to learn it right about the dom document represents the entire web page if you want to access any element in html page you always have to start with accessing the document object so how we can check this document object so let's close this one let's open our web page so where is our web page yeah here is it so this is our web page right let's inspect this one so i want to access this html page so where can i access it is present in the window.document so you can also use window.document or otherwise you can also use the directly document also not a problem okay so both are one in the same so let's try to see about the window.document so document is also an object so one other thing what you need to understand is document is also an object it also contains a lot of very variety of properties and methods which you can make use of these properties and methods and you can access the html tags so now let's try to see how what is what this document object contains so now when you press this doc window dot document here you'll be able to see the html so this is all the html which i have written so dom title so these are script added by the live server here i'm able to see the h1 p tag so these are all the things i'm able to see it so that means so i am able to see the complete html document in the window dot document for example let's say that we'll try to see about this document okay so when i open this document then also i'm able to see the complete html instead of the object so what it is happening here okay so here i'm able to see the html document instead of an object i want to see the whole complete document object so the properties and methods available in the document object but here when i am trying to type the document i am able to see the only the html so here i am able to see only the html so this is happening because because of this console.log okay so when you try to use console.log document so this is nothing but you are getting this html so when you try type this document or window.document so it will try to do the console.log so console.log what it is happening is it is a function that prints an array object or message or anything to the console most of the time as a string it tries to represent most of the time as a string so if i if you want to get the object something as an object so that we can see all the properties and methods in that one means so instead of using console.log we need to use the console.dir okay so when you use console.dir so it will console the same thing as an object like a json tree like object it will try to output it so that means if instead of using console.log what i need to do i want to use console.dir of document so when you type this one see again you will be able to see the document when you open this one this time see now i am able to see this entire document as an object okay so this is the main thing so here i am able to see all the things like child element count everything i am able to see everything in this one okay so this is how we can access the document object in this one so there are a lot of properties and methods available in this one we'll try to see one by one so this is how we can access the document object in the window in the browser hope you understood about this window object and also the document object if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you